Hi, I'm Tom Hopper and I play Sir Percival and I am watching Entertainment Focus. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rupert Young and I play Sir Leo and I am watching Entertainment Focus and hopefully you are too. <laughs> Cheers. So how are you guys doing today? Very good. good. Um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> we, we rehearsed that. <laughs> um, obviously we're here because uh, Merlin Series 4 is coming to an end, mm. but I mean yeah, so you're supposed to come to an end, and DVD box sets coming out, and just in time for Christmas. Yeah. Um, series four has been pretty good for the nights. I mean, um, you've played quite a major role. Um, can you tell me a little bit about? There's an episode coming up soon. Yeah. yeah in fact, this this coming weekend, which mm. is Saturday, the I don't know what it is. This coming weekend, anyway. <laughs> uh, whatever that is. Uh, yeah. Um, You'll see, uh, you know, a bit more about the nights, and hopefully, um, you know, you'll get to know a little bit more about us and what makes us tick. But then there's something that uh, actually comes along that changes our personalities and, and tests us as a, as a unit, um, and we end up uh, being massively tested in terms of our friendships as well. Yeah, so it's, it should be a good app for the nights, and you know, see what happens. Was it a good episode to shoot? Uh, it was brilliant. We, I think it was the first time. Um, that we went out on a within the show a mission without our king, so that Arthur. And uh, even though it's always great fun with him, and it all nice. went really wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, kind of. Yeah, uh, we never do that again. <laughs> well, for yeah. me, I kind of lead the group, um, and so you know, being the rock of the round table uh, was. <laughs> this is his top from Scar. <laughs> no, I came up with that. I'm, it sounded like it just came to me. Uh, yeah, I, we all go and you see the whole the group of us together. And as he said, we you know the, the you really get to get a sense of our relationships. And um, it was very fun. Though. It was very nice to be the focus. We went through a lot, and we had a great um, girl uh, who came along. Yeah, Charlene. Her, Charlene McKenna, who's fantastic. Yeah, she's and brilliant. she so we did a lot of scenes um, with her. So it was great. It was good to hang out and do lots of fighting. Um, verbally and physically. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, that's one of the questions. Do you, yeah. you do a lot of fighting? You being the knights, is there a lot of preparation involved? Well, mm -hmm. the preparation. Uh, we, we obviously rehearse. You know, every every fight we do, but um, we're all sort of been trained previously in, in fighting and stuff, and you know, sword fighting, stage fighting. So uh, a lot of it is, you know, on the days you just rehearsing to get them. You know, as as clean as you can, and obviously we're shooting it from lots of different angles, so hmm. you know, there's uh, a little little room for for messing up, but we try to get it bang on every time if we can. So yeah, that's good. You're quite famous for your fight scenes. You're supposedly the badass with the sword. Is that true? I don't know. <laughs> wow. Is that, is that true? Okay. Yeah. So you might take that one. <laughs> yeah. So it's either that or sleeveless. Yeah, sleeveless. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, did you start practicing at a very young age with a stick? Oh yeah, this is like you know, this is like we we talk we always talk about this. This is like our ten year old selves looking up, going, "Oh, you're so cool." <laughs> you know, this is uh, what I'd love to be doing at that's, ten years old. That's you're what I was picturing. Your sleeves off, ripping your sleeves off, going, oh, "What is it?" Amazing. Uh, <laughs> and then these would be big. <laughs> yeah, I started lifting little things, lifting my action figures. Uh, yeah, Power Rangers doing this, um, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's um, it, it, yeah, it's a childhood dream, I guess, to be a, a knight at the round table and, and running around with swords and fighting bandits off and things like that. Yeah, um, you've been the, in the series for the yeah. longest, uh, and you've survived the great battle of Camelot. I have. I've survived quite a few times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the immortal so, uh, Leon. <laughs> what 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 is your um, what wisdom can you give the other knights? <laughs> well, I can, but I try. I mean, they're a stubborn bunch. I mean, I, I like to think I, uh, you know, I do everything by the book in terms of I've learnt. You know, I would be the A, an A star uh, pupil at the Camelot School. You know, I do everything to the book, and I'm a great fighter, and I do it with flair. So, maybe like some light prefect. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I would say. Um, so no, it's been it's been weird. I've been, as I said, I've been very lucky. I survived the dragon trying to fry me and then other people. So I've kind of got through unscathed, which is quite good. <laughs> I have no scars. He has a big one on his arm yeah, from a little yeah, scratch, yeah. but yeah. I, yeah, nothing. It's been all right. 
But he's the strongest, he gets to lift a lot of stuff. He does, yeah, yeah, <laughs> but not as nimble. That's the thing. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, it yeah. takes him a while to move because he's carrying a hefty weight. <laughs> yeah. Does it ever bother you that they make him lift that many things during the show? Uh, yeah, well, he's kind of become sort of Percival's thing, I suppose, that he's uh, any time there's things to lift. Percival, can you lift this guy? You should um, have thought about that before you. Before I started, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's, uh, but no, it's, it's not annoying, it's just, uh, I guess, part of it, I suppose. Yeah. He's, he's always there to lift things, you know, you need someone to be lift. First you always need something to bring him over. Thing, yeah. yeah. Has your, um, has, uh, did your pe the people in your, like, life ask, ask you to lift stuff as well now? Uh, now that they figured that one yeah, out. Yeah, you know what though, it's not so much more lifting, it's more reaching for stuff, because I'm tall, I'm always like, Tom, can you reach that up there? It's, that's, that's usually more the done thing. Uh, lifting not so much. My girlfriend's surprisingly strong, actually. She lifts <laughs> more things than I do, I think. Yeah. But you're not actually that strong. Like. <laughs> yeah, he's got the scar. It's just, yeah, it looks that. like it's all super super it's actually. It's very he can't lift that much. Whereas I can lift quite a lot. Mm. He can't. I, mean, yeah. I don't need to show it, but it's you know it's core strength which he hasn't. It is a lack of. Yeah. You know, that's why he gets away with the cardigan. <laughs> Many and people I, couldn't. Yeah, yeah, you know, I can't. <laughs> Um, he just can't get that off, he's been wearing it for a few months, he tried to paint it off. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me what, um, what, what do you think, because Marlene's been going on for a few years now, what do you think make this, makes the show so successful? Um, I think it, it's, a, it's such a classic story um, and it's, uh, I think it's also the, almost like old school family TV. I think, you know, we, with all these shows at the moment, reality TV shows and all these shows which are, you know, very popular, it, a lot of people want to be told a great story and it's a show that on a Saturday night you can sit down and watch with your family and there's something for everyone. And, and it is, it's old school battles and friendships and there's, I mean, the relationship between uh, Merlin and Arthur, that, you know, bonding and people growing up and Night's Fighting, I think it's just such, such a classic story that uh, that's what people want, you know, it's a timeless story that, you know, if this had come out 20 years ago, it would, would be a hit. If it comes out in 20 years' mm. time, it would be a hit. And, and I think it's, it's just a classic story, really. And, um, cause, but it, they've changed a few things along the way in this series. Um, I was wondering, do you know anything at all about the next series yet? Uh, we know it's no. going to be called Series 5, yeah. so oh. we've been told. Uh, Merlin will be involved. Yeah. Uh, no, will the Knights uh, play a role again, I take it? Yes. Yeah, I hope so, yeah. I mean, I think it's one of those, yeah, we don't know. It's always, um, we don't find out things until quite late on. Mm. Um, and, you know, we hope to be part of it. It's fun to, fun to do, so, um, and a great show. So, yeah, people, I think the stories are being, being put together as we speak. Mm. Um, so. But I know nothing about stories at all. Yeah, <laughs> I'm very tight on that. <laughs> yeah. It's now set in the future. Yeah. Yeah, I think that probably won't. That probably won't happen. Um, never say never. Know. You never know. <laughs> We've asked a few of our Twitter fans uh, for a few questions. Right. And um, one of them was, if you could fight any character, fictional or real, who would it be? From Merlin. No, from any. It could be like Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yeah. wow. um, who would it be and who would win? I see. Okay, I'm, I'm going for someone weak so that I would win. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, that's, a that's a thinker. That's a thinker. I can't, I can't oh. just throw one out there because then later on I'll go, oh no, I should have said that. And it'll annoy that's me. That's a difficult one. Um, I think it's going to be like a... Okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to put this out there. <laughs> I'm gonna lock uh, it. I'm gonna lock it in. I'm, <laughs> lock, in. I'm gonna lock in those lyrics. Um, I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'm gonna say. I never watched that show. I just heard it before. Um, I'm gonna say Wolverine from X Men. And who wow. would win? I don't know. Well, I know. Who would set up the fight. We'll find. He out. has those things. In fact, where's my top trumps card? Give me the Wolverine top trumps card, and let's see who wins. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Who would I? Fictional real. Ah. <laughs> oh, damn, yeah, see, I've already thought. <laughs> Just give it, it. give it to me, give it to me. Damn. Ah. <laughs> uh, I was going to say. I don't want to fight him. Oh, okay, well, I'll fight him. Okay, he's going to fight someone. I'm going to change it to uh, Scrap Wolverine, he's Scrap. 
Um, I'm going to say uh, the Russian, uh, which is Ivan Drago in Rocky, Rocky IV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think it'd be a good would fight. you box him or would you use a sword? Well, I, I, I think I've got to stand a better chance with a sword. So I'm going yeah, to bring maybe. a sword into the ring and see what happens. That's very <laughs> good. I'll go for Bilbo Baggins because I Bilbo. think I'd win. <laughs> Is that with the ring or without the oh, ring? He got the ring? He's lost the ring. He's lost the ring. Then I think I could. So this one is an old man at the end. Yeah. Okay. Good choice. But no, I wouldn't kill him. I would just. Is this you how know. you win your battles? You no, I am win. very good. But I like to, you know. In fact, what I would probably do is something in the, uh, uh, like the six fingered man in the Princess Bride or something like that. You know, I'd have a <laughs> full on sword fight that would go on for a long time, yeah. and I would. It would be. It would be an amazing, epic battle to watch. And um, you can use both arms. Yeah, 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 I, I'm, yeah I'm very good. Both hands. <laughs> uh, another question was, do you have any anecdotes of stunts going wrong on the set? <laughs> oh, I'd love to share them. I just would. I'd love to. But, stunts go wrong. Uh, uh, <laughs> luckily, a lot of the stunts, uh, we get some brilliant stunt people, and they are so good at doing them. So they will do, they look like they're going wrong because they'll suddenly do a huge backflip off the back of a horse and yeah. land on their head, and you go, <laughs> Oh no, you were meant to do that, yeah. and you'll then do it again. And so that, yeah, brilliant. I mean, we've all had little injuries. They've mostly been yeah. offset. Like, I think Thomas walked into yeah, Thomas a trailer. Yeah, Thomas his head last year. Uh, you hurt your head as yeah. well, playing yeah. football. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> it was a, it was a, we don't know how it happened, actually. <laughs> Various times over a period of three days where I hit my head. And uh, no one had something. <clears> Owen, <throat> oh, yeah, what did Owen have? I yeah, felt he had, <laughs> Owen had like mumps, mumps or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I fell off my horse. I fell off my head. Chainmail, which um, protected me. Did an incredible stunt, which they didn't film. Otherwise, they Shame. would have made it. Um, so yeah, we all we've all been injured, but never in a take. No. So we can never see it. But touch wood. <laughs> no, I'm only that's that's kind of glass. No, underneath <laughs> yeah. um, What was I going to say? Other than yourselves, who do you reckon is the best knight? I, I, yeah, I don't know if I'd say myself anyway. It's other than yourself, so you yeah. can't. <laughs> uh, but I, I, even if that was uh, an option. Yeah, you uh, I, I, I might. I'm going to have to go with Lancelot. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone else isn't... Oh. Just because he's, like, you know, I could, if I said Owen and Gwen, he's just going to... So you're basically saying you would say him, but it would... You go in Lancelot. N no, well, you know, he, he's, cool. pretty, he's pretty cool, and he's like all Hispanic and uh, Santiago. He's so cool, you know. He's cool. Okay. Cooler than... And the other. <laughs> and the other one. I can't remember. <laughs> Who's it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Summer was good. Summer was well. good. Uh, yeah, I'd probably get Santiago as well. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. really annoying, but I feel I have to say Santiago. Lancelot, though. Not necessarily Santiago as. Oh, his character. Know, but Lancelot remember, as, a, yeah. as a knight, yeah. Yeah, he's, the, he's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. So, final for the last question. This is a Twitter question as well. It's quite strange one, but um, in a fight between a pigeon and a squirrel, which one would win? Yeah. How on earth did that question get through? <laughs> it's Twitter. Between a pigeon and a squirrel? I'll get squirrel. I'm going to squirrel. Well, just, just for argument's sake, I'm going to go a pigeon. <laughs> How do we find insight into your, your answers. Um, well, I think a pigeon would win uh, because it can fly, yeah, and it can peck. <laughs> the squirrel, I just think is the squirrel is and, like is nimble. He can scratch. Pigeons have He's been got around. Nuts, he can you throw know. them. He can throw them. He can't throw them. It doesn't. He lacks opposable thumbs. But he can do that. He doesn't. He can. And then, <laughs> and then the pigeon will pigeons go. Come and have some flat, nuts. Flat, flat. And then the pigeon will try and eat the nut, and then we'll be able to jump up a tree. I think the pigeon. Is more agile than a squirrel every time. <laughs> it, it depends. Is a red squirrel dreaming. or a grey squirrel? Because that changes everything. You can pick. Apparently, there's a YouTube video. So. Oh, oh, a okay. pigeon versus a squirrel. And who wins? Yeah, pigeon wins. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's probably doing nice. Like, so pleased. Because it can just fly yeah, away when it's yeah. done. Like, yeah, so pleased. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs>